Okay, um, hi, hi, um, again. So let, let me do this way. So here in this uh, video, actually, I'm not going into a very detail like cassette creation because uh, in the beginner course, uh, if, you, if you guys uh, look into my beginner course, uh, this is clearly explained uh, how to create uh, asset master data with the different options. Uh, with the purchase order without purchase order multiple creation so i have already gone into the deep dive in in the in the beginner course so if you have not gone through these videos it's already available on youtube and also into the our my udemy course so please help to refer these because i don't want to again go through the similar details again and again so i always refer back my previous videos so this is also clearly explained in my previous videos yeah so but as a as a steps point of view I, I actually put it here intermediate level so here what happens let's say we created an asset so and then we how to maintain the production units for the depreciation key so if you look into our master data so let's say I created this asset, which is 2007, under this asset class. So if you look into here, and uh, um, I will explain you uh, further details here. So why I assign the depreciation key zero, and uh, why I have given here, these are the, um, uh, let's say, asset class, this is the asset this is the asset yeah so now let's say when you buy an asset which is relating to having uh, this and how much capacity it is giving and how many units will be produced will be analyzed at a later point of time so when the asset came into production they never directly put it in the uh, production right so uh, usually it means uh, unless it's really a ready asset at upfront if you know those details then uh, yeah you can you can directly uh, do this part so but in this case let's say you don't assign the depreciation key here so uh, if you try to assign the depreciation key which is we already using this pum1 um, it will it will throw an error so let's say i will show you click on save so you see it will throw an error so the reason behind this if you look into this what it says if you if you see into the system it says clearly error message sorry um here the error message is clearly states that depreciation key pum1 in company code 2800 has no total number of units so but uh, you don't know the units uh, you, so you cannot maintain so my recommendation you can follow either way yeah so but uh, asset will come in first and you know how much units producing later so now we created the asset already so now in the in the uh, easy access uh, in the next session i am going to show you the mm -hmm. real um, I mean, uh, I'd say, I should say this is a, a key user or a controller or a production team, a job to maintain this uh, e-planned units or anything because they are having expertise. So maybe, yeah, I, I don't know how your organization they are doing, but uh, yes, there's a different ways and authorizations can be provided. So in our next session, uh, I am going to show you on how to maintain the production units and also how to update the depreciation key after you maintain the production units thank you guys